Hello and welcome to our uh, class on modalities. Um, this is the first of several video series throughout the class and uh, today we're just going to talk about uh, introduction to therapeutic modalities. So what are therapeutic modalities? But and therapeutic modality is an agent or tool used to stimulate body tissue to perform its normal function. Modalities provide an environment in tissue that is optimal to fast and efficient healing. So a, a kind of a misnomer is that our modalities actually heal a tissue or, or create um, or do something magical to heal the tissue. And that's not necessarily the truth. Our bodies are actually pretty good at healing itself but it can take sometimes uh, it's not on the same timetable as uh, you know getting a player ready for a big game the next Saturday so the modalities are something we use to kind of help to stimulate that tissue and create an optimal environment for fast efficient healing so what are some examples of therapeutic modalities well anything uh, modalities are the tools of the athletic trainers anything we use ice cups, ice baths, ice bags, heat packs, uh, ultrasound, diathermy, all those are examples of modalities. So right now we're going to go over some important terms that you'll hear a lot throughout this class. And the first is wavelength. What is a wavelength? That is the distance between the peak of one wave and the peak of the next, or the trough of one wave and the trough of the next. Another important term is frequency, and this is the number of wave oscillations occurring in one second. So the amount of peaks and waves, uh, peaks and troughs that occur in one second. And these are uh, these the units are described in hertz or hz. And also you'll see on some of the machines uh, pulses per second instead of hertz. It, it'll it'll interchange between hertz and pulses per second, but both are free, uh, both are just describing frequency and are the same thing. So wavelength and frequency velocity. Velocity equals wavelength times frequency. Um, so the wave velocity is always constant. Three times ten millimeter millisecond mil, uh, millimeters per second. So an inverse relationship always exists between these two. Therefore, the longer the wave, the lower the frequency, or the shorter the wavelength, the higher the frequency. So that basically what we're saying is uh, if you have a longer wavelength, so that distance between the peak and the peak are longer, you're not going to be able to fit as many peaks in one second, whereas a shorter wavelength, you're going to be able to fit more of those peaks in one second. Some more important terms that we'll go over are radiant energy, a process by which energy in various forms travels through space or a vacuum. All matter produces energy in a form that radiates heat. If a force is applied to an object, radiant energy can be produced by the movement of electrons. So all these modalities uh, are creating some kind of heat or radiant energy. And um, that's, that's real important. That's kind of the basic, that's what we're dealing with. That's what we're working with. Bakers work with dough. We work with radiant energy. The electromagnetic spectrum is a way that is a range of frequency and wavelengths associated with energy. Uh, acoustic spectrum is the same thing as the electromagnetic spectrum, but it deals with the frequency of wavelengths of sound waves. So here's an example of the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, as you'll see, well, some of the lower frequency are the AM radio, shortwave radio, television, FM radio. We do deal with a little bit of microwave uh, in diathermy, but most of what we'll deal with is in this section right here, right there. Radiant, radiation characteristics. So all radiations in the electromagnetic spectrum show several characteristics. They may be produced when sufficiently intense electrical or chemical forces are applied. They all travel readily through space and equal velocity. Their direction of travel is always in a straight line, and they may be reflected, refracted, absorbed, or transmitted depending on the medium. So these are all important things about what we're 
what we're doing with our our modalities we need to have a, a sufficient amount of electricity or chemical forces applied to create to create a, a, what we're trying to um, do with our modalities so to create a change in the tissue we have to have the a sufficient amount and intensity of electrical or chemical forces um, their travel direction is always a straight line so when you're hooking up someone to uh, e-stem you know those electrons are always going to go in that straight line and you can do things with those electrons you can cross the path so that the energy is reflected or refracted and it gets absorbed and transmitted at different depths in the tissue so really you, knowing the characteristics of radiant energy is really going to help us uh, use our tools so the laws of electromagnetic radiation uh, reflection, that's the bending back of light or sound waves from a surface medium. Uh, this is a characteristic of radiation that we need to know. Um, when you put in ultrasound on someone, there's a, you know, it's not always going to be a perfect straight line. There's going to be some reflection and refraction uh, from the tissues. Refraction, the change in direction of a wave when it passes from one medium or type of tissue to another. Some other uh, laws of electromagnetic radiation are transmission, the propagation of energy through a particular medium. Usually we're talking about tissue to deeper structures. So this is the law uh, transmission is a way of getting the energy uh, from one source and into another source and through a particular medium. Absorption, energy that stimulates a particular tissue to perform its normal function. So uh, we're transmitting the energy of ultrasound through our uh, ultrasound gel and the tissues of a athlete so that it is, it's absorbed at a deeper level and that tissue creates a, a performs a normal function or creates an environment for that tissue to perform a normal function. <laughs>